So obviously, ever since Tom Brady decided, you know what, 40 days is long enough, I'm coming back from my fake retirement, and he announced that he will be returning to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, rumors have been swirling about what actually went down behind the scenes. If he wanted to go to Miami, it seems almost confirmed at this point that he was ready to go to Miami as a player-slash-minority owner, and that maybe Sean Payton would be coming to be the head coach. With the Brian Flores lawsuit and the Miami Dolphins being wrapped up in that, that quickly changed things. And now Chris Sims is coming out and saying that he knows exactly what the Dolphins were going to exchange. Chris Sims claims to have known the Dolphins trade offer for Tom Brady. Chris Sims said they offered the Buccaneers a second round pick for Tom fucking Brady. The Buccaneers and Tom Brady specifically have been a focal point of many of these reports. Most recently, the suggestion that Tom Brady uh, was orchestrating an opportunity to join the Dolphins as a player and a minority owner. In an article published yesterday, Jesse Pantusko summarized the comments made by Sims on a recent podcast. They were going to trade a second round pick to Tampa to get Brady. They weren't going to hold him hostage, the Bucs meaning. Sean Payton and the Saints, that was going to be a first round pick to get that deal done. Sims confirmed during, during his appearance on a podcast was by Stu Gotts of the Dan Lebitard show. Now, Rick Stroud, who's a Bucks reporter, says that's the that one that's I was talking about. Happening. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. He says the Bucks vehemently deny they had even one discussion with the Dolphins. Also claim they did not contact the Texans about Deshaun Watson. So this is Rick Stroud, who's been right about some shit, who's been wrong about some shit. Uh, with all this Tom Brady nonsense going on. But what do you think about this report, Jeremy? I mean, I'm very much don't... (sighs) This whole thing is very difficult to kind of process because uh, on one hand, I I think that there there were some behind-the-scenes drama uh, with with Brady uh, and the Buccaneers with Bruce Arians. But... and, And I think that there might have been some interest level I don't know about this report. I don't want to say that this report's not legit, though, uh, 100%, because as we've seen, like with Brady's retirement and then unretirement, that's such an un Brady like move. So clearly, there were some other things going on that were in, in play here. Um, I, I do think Chris Sims is, you know, very much hit or miss, very much in a lot of the things that he says and does. But well, he's, he's, a, he's a Mike Florio guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's with PFT and Mike Florio uh, has, especially over these past several years, has been known for maybe publishing some stuff that is is not correct just to get a reaction out of people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. Maybe Chris Sims is kind of following that type of template that Mike Florio's laid out. Uh, I don't necessarily see any reason to to not believe it, I guess, because this is exactly what these are the rumors we heard. Now, are people saying, well, maybe that they weren't on board with that exact pick or they never actually had a discussion. Maybe, maybe that's the case. Maybe the Bucks never officially talked to anyone in any capacity. Maybe it was all behind closed doors. Who knows? Well, I, I don't think that this is good for the Buccaneers. Uh, it's just creating more drama. Um, there's been a lot of off season drama with the Buccaneers. And so it's going to create internal questions about the team and his commitment and everything like that. But at the end of the day, he is Tom Brady. So once the season starts, Everything should get worked out. Uh, you got the draft coming up. He's restructured his contract uh, like he ha- always has in New England, which is going to free them up to make some even more moves. Uh, so I-, I think this ultimately is uh, the reality is, is it is a potential distraction for them. That's the fact. Whether it's true or not is kind of irrelevant because we don't know. But what is true is the distraction that it could potentially create for the team, which I think is the bigger issue right now. Yeah, I, I agree. And Johnny, what are your kind of thoughts on all this? Just so not like the Tom Brady we've seen, I guess, over mm-hmm. the last 20 years in the NFL to have all this stuff surrounding him now this offseason. Well, it's interesting. I'm glad that he made that move to free up the contract space, because if I was his teammate, I would be looking at that and going, OK, well, he still seems like there's some level of dedication to the team, you know, because yep. With all this drama going on, you got to be asking, dude, this was this guy even planning on be here, being here? Does he want to be here? You know, and so, and that's weird because for most of Tom Brady's career, that hasn't really been a question. You know, his dedication to his team, his leadership, it almost kind of oddly enough, and I know Jeremy's kind of alluded to this before, it almost kind of reminds me of like a LeBron type situation mm-hmm. where LeBron's either trying to get things traded or what LeBron wants is always very much known to 
everyone, the media, his teammates, and that sort of thing. He might not say it directly, but he tries to make those things happen behind the scenes. And now it kind of feels like that with Brady, where we haven't really had that. So now I think his leadership is going to be tested in a different way, where it's going to be like he has to unify the team. He has to get them to play together and convince them that, you know, I mean, they have their own questions heading into the season anyway, like retaining, you know, players and that sort of thing. And so, yeah, it'll be interesting. I think it's going to be a big test for them this upcoming season, but I'm interested to see it. Yep. I, th- I think to me, the biggest difference uh, between, you know, the LeBron stuff we've seen so long and Brady is this is this is completely behind closed doors type of thing. Sure. Whereas LeBron is very much he says things in public in post game press conferences things like that that are meant to undermine leadership that are meant to undermine his head coaches that are meant to undermine players uh in a very passive aggressive way so that it's known to everybody what lebron james wants uh whereas it does seem like this was all kind of behind the scenes and never really meant to get out well well, if you eliminate It might be the difference between like a Buccaneers thing and a Patriots thing, though, too, because it's like you almost wonder if this kind of stuff gets out with it, that with that Patriots culture and everything. You know, it's like that's the that's part of the difference is that information usually doesn't leak, you know. And so it's like like you said, he isn't Tom Brady's not that kind of guy to make passive aggressive statements to kind of allude to what he really wants, like a LeBron would. But regardless, the information leaked. And so now it's out there, you know, and so uh, but sorry, go ahead, Jeremy. Well, no, no, no. I was just going to say, I mean, outside, like I could take all of this uh, for for exactly what Ryan is saying outside of the retirement. The retirement was very publicly done and very sloppy, very sloppy and very weird because I don't think anyone actually believed he was done. You know what I mean? Because, again, it happened within a few days of losing a playoff game in the final moments that he brought his team back and then he's retiring before the next weekend's games. You know what I mean? And so at that point, you're like, what? The guy that said, I'm going to play until I'll retire when I suck. Uh, The guy that said, I'll play till I'm 45, 50. The guy that's alluded to never walking away. Suddenly you're just gone. And then now you come back 40 days later. And then as soon as you come back, Bruce Arians is gone. Like that's how it's publicly played out. So that's Mm -hmm. the element of it that kind of comes off as LeBron-esque for me all the other stuff those are just rumors those are just reports people are just saying whatever yada 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 i totally understand that but the the retiring and unretiring that's kind of the big issue for me on that front yeah Uh, we'll see what happens it's going to be an interesting season no doubt and then next year what happens will be the bigger question as soon as that last snap whether it's walking away with a super bowl victory or being eliminated in the playoffs People are going to be asking the question, where does Tom Brady end up next year? 